muscle prep. Now we got our chest activated. Now we need to activate our lats. Do that with pull downs, extremely light. 10 reps, not even close to failure. get started training, we're ready. Our chance of injury is much alleviated. It's all one big chain. The body is not in individual parts. The body is one big chain. One big moving chain. A lot of people say they have lopsided body parts. Problem is their nerves, they could be lifting the same weight, but they're not firing properly with both sides. By including unilateral movements that require core stability, you will learn how to fire with both sides and not compensate. We want to remove every weak link. Step mill, sorry, one stair climber, versa climber, and two people. Instead of that, we did a one to one. Well, I'm not exactly Tabata, it kicked our ass. This is the hardest motherfucking machine to do Tabata on. It is. 
That's our energy system development. So we did core, pump, overload. CPO, start with the core, unilateral. Move on to straight up dumbbell bench. Move into a pump, getting volume, getting blood into that muscle. Just playing with Nutrients it. in there. Yeah. Then you move on to machines, which overload the muscle directly for overload. Core, pump, overload. And as with every workout, we finish with energy systems development, which has been shown in studies, Tabata alone, to increase your muscle output by 28% which is awesome. So while regular cardio could be catabolic, this, my friend, is anabolic. And like I say, we're gonna walk right over there, get our post-workout carbs and protein, get the nutrients flowing in our system, we're good to go. That was some shit y'all never seen. Yeah, we tore up a lot of muscle fibers today. It's important to get those BCAAs in there. Nutrient BCA Optima, just about anything you want for creatine too. Link down below. Get it in there. All right, guys. Enjoy CPO training. It's not a game.